Everything about America seemed so big to me, so open, so possible. I finally arrived here in 1968. What a special day it was. I remember I arrived here with empty pockets, but full of dreams, full of determination, full of desire. The presidential campaign was in full swing. I remember watching the Nixon-Humphrey presidential race on TV. A friend of mine who spoke German and English translated for me. I heard Humphrey saying things that sounded like socialism, which I had just left. But then I heard Nixon speak. Then I heard Nixon speak. He was talking about free enterprise, getting the government off your back, lowering the taxes and strengthening the military. <laughs> Listening to Nixon speak sounded more like a breath of fresh air. I said to my friend, I said, what party is he? My friend said he's a Republican. I said, then I am a Republican. <laughs> and I have been a Republican ever since. <laughs> and trust me, and trust me, in my wife's family, that's no small achievement. But I am proud to be with the party of Abraham Lincoln, the party of Teddy Roosevelt, the party of Ronald Reagan, and the party of George W. Bush. <laughs> to my fellow immigrants listening tonight, I want you to know how welcome you are in this party. We Republicans admire your ambition. We encourage your dreams. We believe in your future. And one thing I learned about America is that if you work hard and if you play by the rules, this country is truly open to you. You can achieve anything. Everything I have my career, my success, my family, I owe to America. In this country, it doesn't make any difference where you were born. It doesn't make any difference who your parents were. It doesn't make any difference if you're like me and couldn't even speak English until you were in your 20s. America gave me opportunities and my immigrant dreams came true. I want other people to get the same chance as I did, the same opportunities, and I believe they can. That's why I believe in this country, that's why I believe in this party, and that's why I believe in this president. Now, many of you out there tonight are Republican like me, in your hearts and in your belief. Maybe you're from Guatemala. Maybe you're from the Philippines. Maybe you're from Europe or the Ivory Coast. Maybe you live in Ohio, Pennsylvania, or New Mexico. And maybe, and maybe, just maybe, you don't agree with this party on every single issue. I say to you tonight that I believe that's not only okay, but that's what's great about this country. Here, here we can respectfully disagree and still be patriotic, still be American, and still be good Republicans. My fellow immigrants, my fellow Americans, how do you know if you're a Republican? Well, I tell you how. If you believe that government should be accountable to the people, not the people to the government, then you are a Republican. <laughs> if
If you believe that a person should be treated as an individual, not as a member of an interest group, then you are a Republican. If you believe that your family knows how to spend your money better than the government does, then you are a Republican. If you, believe, if you believe that our educational system should be held accountable for the progress of our children, then you are a Republican. If you believe, if you believe that this country, not the United Nations, is best hope for democracy, then you are a Republican. Ladies and gentlemen, and ladies and gentlemen, if you believe that we must be fierce and relentless and terminate terrorism, then you are a Republican.